Thank you all for joining us today for this second half of our next-gen PC platform launch. But today is all about Big Navi. We designed RDNA specifically for gaming, and our first-gen RDNA products delivered 50% better performance per watt over our GCN architecture. We wanted to take another big step with RDNA 2 and deliver another 50% generational improvement in perf per watt. This is the chip at the heart of our high-end Radeon RX 6000 series. 26.8 billion transistors built with leading edge seven nanometer process technology. Big Navi is our first product powered by RDNA2. We had some very ambitious goals with RDNA2. Significantly higher performance, 50% improvement in performance per watt, and new hardware features. We deployed pervasive fine grain clock gating reimagine the pipeline to aggressively maximize performance while minimizing data movement. In combination, these elements made the compute units 30% more energy efficient, allowing them to be pushed faster. Gaming at 4K requires more data to be brought into the chip. The amount of data more than doubles as we move from 1440p to 4K. We took a new approach to solving this technical challenge for gaming and deployed a graphics-optimized, high-density, high-speed cache based on the Zen L3 cache. We call this the Infinity Cache. With RDNA 2, our silicon design and architectural improvements, we are able to deliver 30% faster frequencies in the same 7 nanometer process node. Pulling all this together, the RDNA2 architecture beats our aggressive performance per watt goal, achieving 54%. We partner closely with Microsoft on DirectX 12 ultimate features, including DirectX ray tracing, variable rate shading, mesh shaders, and sampler feedback. RDNA2 will also support Microsoft Direct Storage API. We're excited about this new API that will enhance the gaming experience by significantly reducing game asset load times from large SSDs. And when we put it all together, on average, RDNA 2 delivers double the performance and with great power efficiency. Allow me to introduce you to our brand new AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics card. It comes with 72 compute units and runs with a game clock of over two gigahertz. This card features a 2.25 gigahertz boost clock that pushes some of the highest frequencies we've ever achieved. The 6800 XT will also feature 128 megabytes of Infinity Cache that is power efficient while driving the bandwidth needed for high resolution gaming. Paired with 16 gigabytes of blazing fast GDDR6 memory, and we've delivered all of this incredible performance with a total board power of just 300 watts. We've been maxing out all the settings and games like Battlefield 5, Borderlands 3, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and the performance has just been awesome to experience. Here, we compare their best API scores to our best API scores, the best versus the best. And as you can see, the 6800 XT trades blows and has some significant wins across a variety of titles. Here are the same games we showed you before, running the same best versus best API scenario at 1440p resolution. I personally love seeing so many games running at over 100 frames per second with all of the settings maxed out. We even have more performance we are delivering with two very cool features. The first is a one-click overclocking button we've built into our Radeon software package that we call Rage Mode. Now, Rage Mode automatically takes advantage of the overclocking headroom built into your GPU to give you every bit of performance it has to offer. AMD Smart Access Memory unlocks the greater amount of high-speed memory from the AMD Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards to the AMD Ryzen 5000 series processors, and it delivers additional levels of performance in games. Simply pair these components with our 500 series chipset motherboards, enable the setting in the BIOS, and the performance uplift becomes automatic. When you combine AMD Smart Access Memory with the one-click overclocking of Rage Mode, you'll get a boost in performance in many of the games you love. Combining the latest implementation of Radeon Anti-Lag with the FreeSync monitor can reduce lag in your DX9 and in your DX11 games. In Fortnite, for example, gamers can realize up to eight milliseconds of latency reduction by simply enabling this feature in Radeon software. 
With full hardware support for DX12 Ultimate, the Radeon RX 6000 series is ready to enable ray tracing and variable rate shading in upcoming titles. For DX12 Ultimate, we've added an optimized denoiser for ray tracing effects and a variable rate shading algorithm that can adapt image quality based upon luminance and motion. We're always looking to help developers with new initiatives and are already working on a super resolution feature to give gamers an option for more performance when using ray tracing. Let's take a look at some of these new features in an upcoming game with never before seen footage from Counterplay Studios and their fantastic game, Godfall. Godfall is a brand new third person perspective, next generation looter slasher that challenges gamers to engage in high impact melee combat as they hunt for loot, equip legendary armor and defeat vicious enemies. Leveraging the latest DirectX 12 Ultimate API, Godfall features DirectX ray tracing, variable rate shading, and supports Fidelity FX casts to deliver incredible levels of stunning fidelity. And join forces to bring Fidelity FX casts, DXR ray tracing, and variable ray shading to Far Cry 6. We're using VRS Tier 2 to use a compute shader to generate a control texture which analyzes the luminance and gives us control at an 8x8 tile level as to what shader rate we're going to be using. Another great feature on the RX 6000 is DXR ray tracing. Here you can see ray tracing evident and how the shadows are interacting with your character. What you're seeing involves incredibly complex computations on the RX 6000. This is a level of realism that hasn't been possible until recently. Real-time ray traced shadows allow us to introduce additional shadow casting lights into the scene that provide much more uh, immersion and detail into the world. I'm happy to announce that the Radeon RX 6800 XT will be available on November 18th, starting at $649. But we are not done yet. Today, we are also announcing the Radeon RX 6800 with 60 compute units, a 1.815 gigahertz game clock, with a boost clock of over 2.1 gigahertz. It will feature the same 128 megabytes of infinity cache and be available with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory with a board power of just 250 watts. The Radeon RX 6800 is a fantastic entry into 4K gaming, delivering more performance than the 2080 Ti, which was launched at $999. The 6800 delivers over 60 frames per second in all of these games, giving you the confidence you need to step into the 4K gaming experience, delivering about 18% more performance than the 2080 Ti on average. The Radeon RX 6800 will be available to gamers starting at a price of $579 on November 18th. But you know, we always save the best for last, and I always get the most fun jobs. So today, that means I have one more GPU to show you. I'm so excited to share with you, for the very first time, the AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. Our top-of-the-stack Radeon GPU is built for the ultimate in 4K gaming performance. The 6900 XT combines 80 compute units with a 2.25 gigahertz boost clock to deliver even more performance at the highest settings. And with the power efficiency of RDNA 2, we've been able to deliver all of this with a total board power of 300 watts. With the 6900 XT, we improve things even more, hitting 65% more performance per watt over first gen RDNA. Running at 4K with the highest settings, the 6900 XT looks absolutely fantastic. It's extremely competitive across the board, consistently delivering high frame rates in your favorite games. Just take a look at the performance we see against the competition in Battlefield 5, Call of Duty, and Gears of War 5. All of this is at lower power with a smaller card form factor. The AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT will be available on December 8th, starting at $999. We can't wait to get these products in your hands. So look for the Ryzen 5000 series starting November 5th, the Radeon RX 6800 series starting November 18th, and the Radeon RX 6900 XT starting December 8th.